Pandora's items, not today. It doesn't kill you. Just Pandora's items and then... Best and slot Jinx up the gate. And Static Shiv is not that. For this, because we want... That one item. Should play two punks, I guess. We have no punks at all. Three, four, five, six, seven. Shiv. Unblade. I don't know. I think we just lose, dude. I think we might have already freaked up. Cut above. Cut above Corky. Nice. Cut above Corky. Be cool. Scapegoat guy, Penta, Yorick. I mean, we don't ever win streak this stage at all, right? This guy's got cluttered mind, but no jinxes on the bench. That's good. Ah. Also, we gave our. We already gave an item to Jinx. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. And a justice. Thank you. Double Gwinsu's Rage Blade. Double Gwinsu's Rage Blade, huh? Says, hey, don't do that. Says, hey, just play literally anything else. Okay? It seems as though no kills for us. It's gonna be a low placement game for sure. Red buff is fine. I just want bows, huh? This is like okay, but not great. It like, I don't know how that could possibly be okay. Just wait till it becomes an item that we can actually play. Spark is not playable. Rapid Fire Belios, so now we can't find Rapid Fire Jinx for four shops. That's cool. Guardian Mosher, Rapid Fire. Guardian. Ionic Spark does nothing, so we have to hold it. Snapshot this board for now. Jinx Targ Vi. Play a traditional punk board. That is the goal. Nice though, we might actually get two kills here. Let's go. Three is pushing. Three is asking for too much, dude. Look at his healing, it's too much. Batman strikes back. Alright, I'm hoping we can just hit this fast, dude. I am not in the mood to play Jinx and not hit Jinxes. Uh, three cost X, I guess. Now we can make a last whisper. Has the highest placement outside of and uh, Runans. Gambler's Blade, but I mean, like, we can't get a Gambler's Blade anytime soon, so. Here we are. Here we are. Punk Guy. We're like Punk Y, man. Now I can't get a Rapid Fire Jinx or a Punk Jinx. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sorry, Vex, but the rules say I can't hold you. Uh, 
That's what they say. No buys, no jinxes, no nothing. By now you're expecting like, I don't know, five? Five of at least one of them? We've rolled through 15 divided by three extra shops. We've rolled through five extra shops and seen none of them. That's pretty cringe, man. Low odds. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, at least it's not a rapid fire, girl. That would have really not made my day. Bomb, bomb. Hold the one costs. I need one costs. Hold the one costs. Need one costs. Buy does not matter. On the bright side. Although she does have a cute little broken heart on her shirt. Look at her go. Yeah, we get to focus. Not Cassante, right? Nice. Nice pathing, Cassante. Nice way to tank the shots. You're so good at the game. We could have killed a Jax, but instead. Somehow, Cassante walks all the way around. Well. What if we just FF, guys? Do you think we should FF? Nice. I like it when I get the unit that I needed last game in my shop on this game. Definitely doesn't make me want to go... Absolutely insane. I'm rolling down to zero after these Krugs come to end. If I don't find the Jinxies, then my life will also end. <sighs> please, 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 please. Money. Oh, give, give bows. There's bows. Okay. Bow, bow, roll, roll. No more buys. Oops. Snapshot. No more buys. Thanks. Thanks. This guy. Rapid fire girl, now I can't find Jinx for three shops. Mosher girl. Punk! Punk! Alright, why? Why not? It's only significantly worse. It's only significantly worse. This is a good thing though, now that we have the bows on her, we can just slam whatever item we get first. Whether it be Nashers or Red Buff or uh what about team building and then we get three star Pantheon easier? Indomitable Will is fine. Vampirism's fine. Recombobulator is not fine. Star 2 cost? I mean, we worked so hard to find this Jinx, we might as well just double down on it. Yeah, a little late stream today, dude. We ran into the small problem of the League servers being down earlier today, so we are on now. Yeah, the League servers were down for like three hours earlier. And I had the day off, so I decided to do my laundry, play some League of Legends, and uh, lose to a Riven 2 star. Maybe? Maybe not? Alright, let's go. We gotta win streak this whole stage, or else we just lose the game, I think. 
we have team building, so, you know. Three star Pantheon incoming. Want to be level six. Up, 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 up. All right, well, none of these guys. This item's trash. Sunfire Cape is technically playable. Technically playable. I will only slam it if I need it, though. X, and then instead of Tarek, we need this too. I need it. Yeah, I need it. I don't even think it matters, actually. So, maybe I didn't need it. Oh, uh, it mattered. It mattered a lot. Look at... That's probably enough now. Please. Yes. Didn't get stunned. It mattered. Good, 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 good. Good gameplay right there. Smart moves. How are you doing today, Adriel? How's your day going? Uh, spat? No. Everybody else gets spats when this happens, but not me, huh? Get three cost. Riven with item that's good to play. That's good for me. Oh, but I need to play a rapid fire, huh? So, I can't play the Vex? Or I can't play the Twitch, or what? Remands. She's good. Giant Spelt's good. Rapid Fire Girl. Synergies. Not by. Uh, Heart Steel guy instead of her? He can stun potentially. We don't really need damage. We want CC. Nine thirty on the nose, baby. Um, this guy's board stinks. This guy's got a stinky board, right? So maybe we're going for punk. Two rapid fire, four guardians. I'm good. I've got some. I had some fun games earlier. I had uh, an Olaf three star and um, a Lux three star. That was pretty cool. Pretty good games. So I guess we don't need the Vex unless we get a spatula. By the way. Really? Really? Well, I hope I win this. And then it's what? Seven combats? After seven? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get it after the carousel? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. We get it after the next carousel, which is also when we see if we get. Uh, is this Seraphine enough? He's gonna heal a ton, right? Ah, uh, but he died before she got to heal him. That's good. Ah, that's good enough. Nice. We did it. We streaked through the stage. Big. Yeah, and I didn't get to stream on Sunday because I was snowboarding with my brother. It was fun. But... I suck at snowboarding. So I have some nasty bruises to show off. Currently 50% bonus. That's a lot of extra AD on this Jinx, dude. Bruiser. Rude, dude. 
Hilarious. Hilarious. But rude. Alright, 12 to level. Jam level. We get a roll in. We play a Twitch, I guess. As a frontliner. And I think we go seven for two more guardians. And then we can start rolling for pantheons. Don't die to the riven, guys, please. Uh, uh, what the frick? It's all good. It's all good. We made it to 50 before our streak ended. That's fine. That's all we matter. All we cared about. Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, these are Pantheon items. Epitaph, Martyr, and Capricious. Augments gold at 4-2. Combat caster, inspiring epitaph is the number one performing augment here. Contagion, nah. Unified resistances outperforms even martyr. Even uh, inspiring epitaph. But we are not playing a traditional board here, are we? There's no reason to bank our extra gold into level ups right now. We want to bank extra gold into holding two costs to find more pantheons, and then when we can go level 7 for free, we will. This guy is comically strong for trying to cash out right here. I guess he's just kind of a genius, actually. He was perfectly strong. Killed four of my units. Okay, um... Nico, Amumu... Rash... So we're about to get our last duplicator, which puts us at like six pantheons, quote unquote. So we only need three more. And then we three star him. We give him. I mean, ideally, I want to give him um, Steadfast Heart. I feel like that's probably the strongest item. He doesn't need even Shroud. We have all the pen in the world, right? This guy, we don't have... We do have burn from if it gets applied. And it did. And we win. Alright, frick your stupid hard steel board, dude. Get out of my face. Dominable will, cluttered mind looking butt. Alright, well now we have maxed out our slots. So we can kind of jam the levels a little bit. 24 to level, we're going to be... 20 to level, we will be able to level next turn. And I want Ari. Or Ezreal. Take the Ezreal. Wah, wah, wah. You thought you wanted that. Get out of my face. He did, I don't even know why he would want that, actually. What the 8-bit board, by the way? Who plays this? No spatula? Okay, nice. Okay. 20 to level. Boom, 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 boom. Level up. Sell this guy. Buy this guy. Sell this guy. Buy this guy. Play this guy. Extra thingy. No. No. 
Yeah. 40, I guess. This guy's useless. We need two more Pantheons. We need another Guardian. Okay, hold on. I got Cruel Pact. Two star Kane on 3 2. What the? You're, you're telling me you got three Kanes at 1% odds? That's ridiculous. And then did he just like farm infinite gold for the whole game? That sounds awesome. Oh my god, I lose that? Get out of my face, TF. There's a Nico, finally. So we're playing this guy back here, I guess. That's a Lucian instead of Belios, right? One more Pantheon. Alternatively, alternatively, maybe we skip out on using it on Pantheon and try to get it on a Mumu instead. Maybe we should just roll down to zero and see what happens. down for that. Oh, a duplicator on Krugs? That makes more sense. Still, that's crazy. I think next turn we just roll to zero and pray for three-star Mumu, three-star this guy, right? Then we can replace this guy with Fresh and we're good to go. Sell, sell. Hold on, let's let's not sell everything. Let's hold units. Honey. Give this guy this thing. Another pantheon. Uh, let's go. Another pantheon. Fresh instead of you immediately. Oh, this girl. Okay, we're using one, I guess. Useless. Trash. Need a chain vest for this pan threat. And I want to put the rest of my items on a Mumu, so. Hopefully we can chain vest really quick. And should we go level 8? Or what? I feel strong though. Finally feeling pretty good. 9k damage jinx. Okay, we got this. It's good. I want to give one of those to this guy too, right? So... Mumu's out. It's like zero, dude. Okay, so there's a really good chance we hit a Mumu. Sell one. Uh, no longer need two costs. Want to make 40. I need to get the Mumu upgrade ASAP, though. I also kind of have awkward positioning right now. The divers are freaking me. They have Pantheon shield on the Jinx though, but she heals infinite, dude. F that guy. Positioning gapped for sure, but also F that guy. What needs to happen now is this switch needs to get off my screen. That switch, this switch, this switch. Middle, middle, middle. Uh, insanely good Amumu items, by the way. One of the best. And do we go up to level 8? 
I mean, we make 51 here for sure. And I think because we have the duplicator, we just roll down. Right after Carousel. This ribbon might brick me. We're already on it though. He's already killing my Pantheon pretty hard though. We're dying to some kind of AoE on the Jinx there, huh? No, she's full health. She's got that's the massivest shield ever. She gets 2k HP from the Pantheon shield whenever he donates it to her from the thing. That's cool. Restar Mumu is a game winner, though. Steadfast Heart, another Gargoyle Stone Plate. Even this is fine. Looks like I get my favorite, though. A little steadfasty action. Alright, now let's roll it. Let's roll it down. Give me the good jujus. I don't even... I don't even think it's possible we missed, right? We're the best. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, we only need two more of either one of these, and then we get full-blown three-star, three-cost guardian tank, and whichever one we hit first, we can always map magnetic remover. Obviously, a Mumu, ten times stronger than Nico at this point. Uh, is my girl in Glitter Lance range? She kind of is. Never a good sign. Oh, she's about to get Glitter Lanced again, though. Yikes. Close, look at this. Between second and last is a 10 health difference, basically. Fresh. There's the Amumu, so we have to sell the Nico. Let's go. Okay, three star Mumu. Rush upgrade. Would be nice, but. At least this way we have tons of frontline. Uh. Is the York gonna kill my Jinx? Too quickly? Okay, I need a big stun here, boys. We're winning? We're winning. No, the York passed it so many times. But the Amumu doesn't go down. Yeah! Solo carry Jinx. 125% punk bonus. That's pretty significant if you ask me. Six guys alive in this lobby. And Four of them are one fight away from losing. Are we are we last standing, anybody? No. Okay. I have two fights, hopefully. <laughs> Do I still win this without the Jinx? Hello? Okay. Positioning, positioning, positioning. Right? That's the name of the game now. Here's another premium item on Boom Boom. Double Steadfast. 32 to level. Uh, we're fighting Kale guy, doesn't matter. This guy doesn't matter. This guy has two Crowd Divers. Okay, I think I like this positioning actually. This is probably the worst guy for this positioning, but 
I don't think there's any way that the Riven ever actually walks onto the Jinx pretty quickly here, so... Maybe it's fine. Looks like it's fine. Rush got a stun off. A Mumu's gonna stun. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Who down? Top four. Three down? Three down, top three? Oh, yeah. 32 to level goes up to 28 to level. We can play two Threshes, I think. Or a two star Thresh is better. Okay, is a two star Thresh better? What a concept, dude. Is two two Threshes better than one two star Thresh? I think two Threshes is better than one two star Thresh, right? I'm like 99% sure of that, but I'm sure somebody in the comments can help me out. Do you think that that matters? I'm pretty sure that this was a, a small power increase comparatively. Hi YouTube, yeah, hi YouTube. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends about Keith Ranger, the biggest fish in the sea. get our Thresh, we hold the Mosher, and we use our reroll. And, uh, and, uh, guess we just play the Mosher guy, right? Now we can do this, though. I would like to have had an Emo in instead of the Mosher, but... There's nothing we can do about that. We've capped our board with Punk. We've outlived our welcome here in this fight for sure. Punk is too busted. 134%, 70% bonus AD onto the Jinx, which equivalents to 124 damage total. We're even winning against this guy's Heartsteel board. We hit the three stars, baby. That's what matters. Get out of my face. Okay. Emo emblem. Thank you. I'll take that. Uh, emo emblem for the Thresh. Thank you, Twitch chat. I would have been lost. I, I was kind of confused, I'll be honest. Uh... Stun instead of the guy. Now we can maybe make a two-star next fight. Or is it just this because it's a ton of health? It's just this because it's a ton of health, right? 850 versus 1261. Now self Thresh. No! Thresh is the GOAT, dude. Look at him. Probably gonna get another ult off. I think he is gonna get another ult off. He already did. Alright, we're hitting tentacles. Stop doing that. Yeah, we lose solution. No! Wait. But it's the perfect time. Wait, cannot be disabled? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, Indomitable Will? Wow, that's cracked, dude. Alright. Washer Poppy. Okay, that was an increase in stats, 100 OP. She's got to stay in the back line so we can maintain... He got a, another cash out right there. That's probably GG, boys. That's more than likely GG. Let me use the BF sword. 
Let me give a, let me give him the thing. Uh, still have units in front of our units. Now we don't. All right, guys. You know the deal. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, try to hit 1K subs by the end of.